Hi, everyone. I'm Paul with Madcap Software, and uh, we are on video number six out of 11 on our series on styles in Madcap Flair. Now, if you hear stuff in the background, it's a very rare thunderstorm going on here. And so maybe you're going, Paul, why don't you just wait and do the video later? Because I'm on a deadline. OK. So we are going to talk in this video about a really cool handy feature called the style inspector that you can use when you are working with both your documents and your styles. It kind of bridges the gap between your style sheet and your content, your topic files and snippet files and so forth. So we're going to jump into Flare and uh, learn all about that. Now this particular feature, you can open from the home ribbon and select formatting window. And it is going to open up this window pane over on the right, it says formatting. It's got two tabs in here. And the one we're interested in is called Style Inspector right here. And this is really, really cool. Uh, now, you could have your style sheet open at the same time. And, you know, you could split your screen, have style sheet on one side and, and the topic on the other side. But it's there's a lot of stuff in the style sheet. And this just kind of boils it down to what you uh, have selected what content you're on. So as you see, as I click, I clicked on the header and the, the uh, styles that are shown over on the right in the, in the style inspector change. If I click on the paragraph, they change again. So what it's doing is if you look through it, it's showing you, oh, you clicked on a P uh, style and it's coming from this style sheet. And these are the things that are set on it. Really cool things like that. If you scroll down, it also shows you there are other styles from the style sheet that this particular style, the paragraph style, it's inheriting certain values from them. And it's inheriting, you know, from HTML, you know, from different parts of the style sheet. So that's really cool. All right. So you can see these, but you can also edit the styles uh, as you are looking on this. So for example, maybe you decide, well, I want my font to be bigger. And so you can click in here and type or you can click the little uh, button right there and change. Let's, we're gonna make it 16. Probably don't want it that big, but you saw, you can see, all right, it changes immediately. You get to see what it looks like, just like that. All right, uh, let's see. You also can see local formatting that happens. I'm gonna actually undo that chain. Well, let's go, we need to undo in here. So what happens is you get this message up here and it's saying, hey, you're, you're changing the style sheet when you made that change. When you increase the font to 16 point, you change that. Do you want to keep it or do you don't want to undo? I'm gonna undo it and go back to what I had, all right? Now, I'm gonna scroll down in this. I'm using styles everywhere, except for in this one, the purple one. I actually went ahead and did some local formatting. I'm gonna click on that. And I went up and I used these buttons, which you really shouldn't be using, creating local formatting. But in case you do, you open this up, it's gonna tell you not only what uh, style it's using, it's using the paragraph style here, but you got some local formatting that you created in here, all right? And uh, so you can deal with that. You can also click this if you want to save uh, the style, all right? So I made these local changes and it's like, well, I made those changes, but I might as well just go ahead and create a new style class while I'm at it. And so now you're actually using styles, no longer the local formatting, which is really cool. You can also add properties. Uh, so for example, all right, I clicked on the note over here and it is showing me P note. Okay, I got my border left. There's the border left color. I'm using that style variable, got padding. Well, maybe I wanna add some margin to it too. I can click that little plus button and I can go, I can type in there, or I can go and select what I want because you know you'll you'll get to where you know how these things are spelled and you can just type in there. But if you don't, you just enter that. And then 
it adds it and you can go in and say, well, I want a margin of five pixels all the way down. All right, it added a margin as well. Okay, so, and then once again, it changed my style sheet in there. And you already saw me change the values. And uh, so that is really kind of it. I mean, there are more details in here uh, about the style inspector, you can go into the online help <clears throat> and just search for style inspector. And a few of these things that I didn't touch on, you can look up. All right. So that was pretty quick. Style inspector. We are going to keep going in this video series and learn more about styles and Madcap Flare.